Hi, everyone. I'm Courtney. I was so looking forward to being brilliant traces this summer at Lost Nation Theater. Um, I just being back at my home away from home and working with Nick, who I've worked with countless amounts of time, and Kim and Kathleen, my feel like my second theater family. I just um, was so looking forward to this exciting project, and I hope that one day, hopefully soon, we can maybe do it for you. Uh, I'm, I'm Nick, and uh, when I first got an email about coming up for the summer, uh, and they said, uh, we're going to do Brilliant Traces, and Courtney is going to be the other hand, I was like, I don't even need to read the play, because <laughs> Courtney's like my favorite person in the world, and I, it's very rare that I get a chance to do two-handers anyway, so I was just really excited to like do that, and and of course read the play and it's great and you know vermont is beautiful and it's always a nice place to get out of new york's sort of awful summers into a really lovely place and i'm just hoping for the future you know well i was looking forward to doing this i'm ellen jones i'm a lighting and scenic designer and scenic artist uh, because i think this would have been my 26th season really was looking forward to that, to, to being in Vermont, to working with everybody in the show and Kim and Kathleen and hopefully some, you know, new younger designers and technicians that maybe I could get excited about pursuing this. So uh, it's a great script and I'm hoping that we'll be able to do it next summer. Hope Thanks. we'll see you at the theater. <laughs> this is kind of like a um, creative dream team for me as for this particular project that um, Nick and Courtney have a history with each other working together. They are really well suited to playing the, the misfits. Uh, <laughs> these, uh, these characters are. Uh, as awful as COVID is, it's brought us in a lot of places to look at a lot of things in ways we never would have. America is being forced to look at itself in a mirror. Yeah. You're not at a time or a place where you can go, I'll worry about that later. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I, I don't think we ever go back to the way we were and did everything before. I, I just think the genie's out of the bottle. It's a really good point, Ellen. I mean, the world gets to change because it's forced to stop. So it's really an opportunity for um, good things to come out of this, you know, yeah. this really intense moment connection and people are eating dinner together <laughs> um right. they're having times for conversation to really sit down and listen um and talk to one another in a way i feel like that's different i mean i i mean i always had a really wonderful relationship with my mother but i call her every single day and we talk for an hour every single day it's like, we never did that in the before that just things like that I, I wonder if there's some way you can figure out to collect stories Mm. Build it into a piece. Ooh, as a fundraiser, you could even have people go on stage and do their own pieces, their own little monologue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invested in them making money. How else are we going to get paid? <laughs> I, I just want to say to everyone at Lost Nation Theater, it's, I just hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. And Lost Nation Theater is just one of my most special, uh, like deep hearted, lovely, amazing places to perform and come to. And it's just, I, I hope that at the end of the tunnel that, uh, theater can make a triumphant comeback and that we can all be together spreading the theater love um, that is Lost Nation Theater. I truly, Spread. truly, truly love it. <laughs> Spread the theater love. Yes. <laughs> Good, Catherine. I, I can't really top that, you know. I, um, uh, yeah, same. I. I love and miss you all. I wish I was there right now, but I just hope everyone's being safe and staying as true and happy to themselves as possible. I really miss the 4th of July fireworks this year. Yeah. Well, it used to, when they used to shoot them off, off the hill, yeah. 
at National Life, we would always go up in the, the, the office in the bell tower and watch from up there <laughs> back in the old days. <laughs> it's, it's a good fireworks show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but it's just, it's always for years. I, that's where I always was on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah. And I think we'll all be back and in whatever incarnation it becomes, it's still going to be the same company in the same place and the same vibe. It's just what it is we have to do to meet whatever the rules are that allow us to stay open and have an audience. Yeah. Great reunions coming. <laughs> yeah. I, I think there'll be a lot of joy uh, in the future and just in general. Hopefully, I, I think at least, you know, I won't be taking a lot of things for granted and just kind of just being able to sort of appreciate things in a way that I hadn't before, you know? That's what I was just going to say. The The amount of appreciation for things is totally going to change, is changing, has changed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> really. I, I My cheekbones hurt from smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Bones don't do the smiling. They do the <laughs> 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 <laughs>